Hi, I'm back. <laughs> been a while since I've been here, but uh, I haven't forgotten about you. I've just uh, been busy doing other things and needed to think of something really special and different and unique. And I have one today. I have a good one today. I've been doing some writing the past five or six days. Kind of obsessed when I get into writing. I start writing a while and writing and I just keep pouring out. And so I began to write something about, I was writing a title called, Can the Incurable Be Cured? So I thought that was a great title to write about. So I'm not gonna be speaking about incurables today and being cured. What I'm going to speak about you today is how I came to this direction. And the direction I use is called mimicking, mimicking. I was hypnotized many years ago by uh, my great friend and hypnotist Diana Barrar to learn how to dance. I didn't know how to dance and I was a little tight, you know, when I get up there. And so she hypnotized me a few times and her words were to me, watch the other dancers that are really good and mimic what they're doing. Okay, I did. So after a few times I started dancing I started dancing and I won two dance contests shortly after that, I did. And it was all about releasing the logic in my mind that said I wasn't a good dancer, and they are, and I'm watching the bad dancers. No, I wasn't, but that was my fear. And I remember Diana telling me, nobody watches the bad dancers, they just watch the good dancers. So I needed to become a good dancer. So the direction of mimicking became a, a metaphor for me in many things. For many, many years, I was such an avid bike rider. I went without owning a car three different times. Once I remember a friend of mine, Frank Gerando, was having a big party in Naperville. I rode my bike there. It took me a couple hours to get there, but I rode my bike there, didn't have a car. It was just a game, just a game. Can I go without a car? Can you go without a car? That was a good one. So the story about biking was that when I would be riding my bike, I would see a good biker in front of me, probably came from the dance lessons, and I'd watch this biker, and I'd watch his or her pedals going, and their legs going, and they'd move. And in my mind, watching theirs, I began to do the same thing. And I began to mimic their movements in my legs, and pretty soon I was going so fast I didn't even realize it and I didn't have a fatigue from riding because I wasn't paying attention to, oh, I've been riding for an hour, I'm so tired. Instead, I was watching their pedals, their legs, their movements. So in my writing today, as I was writing, can we cure the incurable? What a profound statement or question. And I, and I say in my writing, if somebody said to you, sorry, Charlie, your disease is not curable, what do you feel? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> not, much, not much healing in that feeling, is there? Mm -mm, not at all. You're, you're in trouble right now. You're in trouble because all your energy is just went out the window. So what I'm writing is, Another story of mine, many years ago, my mother lived in Arkansas. And about once a month, I would drive to Arkansas with my dog Margie at the time, and we'd have about a 10 or 11 hour drive, sometime with a dog might be more, because you have to stop at rest areas often. And, and I'd listen to Wayne Dyer's talks. And he would say things about feeling good every day. Oh, BS, you can't feel good every day, I'd say. And, and I'd argue with him in the car. It was just Margie and me in the car so I could talk out loud. And nobody knows I'm crazy. They probably thought I was on the phone. I don't even know if we had phones. And, and I listened to Wayne Dyer all the time say all these good things. And eventually I began to mimic some of those. You've heard me on, on these little five minute videos, mimicking words that I've heard, lessons that I've heard, ideas that I've had that said, yep, I could be, I could be like a Wayne Dyer. I could be positive all the time. I could think positive things. My life could be good, but I needed to mimic it like the bike riding, like the dancer, 
I needed to feel it. And, and this is what I was writing today. And I thought, I'm going to share this with you to mimic what you see that you like. I'll tell you another funny story. I shouldn't tell you all my secrets, but they're great secrets. One of my secrets are that when I'm walking Jack and there's somebody in front of me and they're walking a certain way, I walk that way. They walk smooth, I walk smooth. They walk rough, I walk rough. And I begin to feel what I think they're feeling. Try it sometime. When you're walking behind somebody, they wiggle their butt, wiggle your butt. They hold their shoulders straight, hold your shoulders straight. Mimic what they're doing and you begin to feel what they're feeling. So mimicking is an interesting word that I've been including in my writings today. I'd love to share with you what I'm writing. So far, I'm up to 15 pages in five days, and I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Uh, I had a few people say, well, what are you going to do with it? Well, I'll send it to my friends, maybe put it together with what's that bump, if you might remember my story about what's that bump when I was healing through cancer, and put it together. Maybe make a book. Who knows? Make, maybe make another book. All I know is that I'm on this earth to teach you. I wake up every morning with two gifts in my mind. I am so thankful with such gratitude I woke up today. What a great opportunity when we wake up. What a great opportunity. And my second thought is, who could I help today? Somebody, somebody. I get such joy, almost a climatic feeling of seeing somebody feel good. Another great name, my friend Joe Roth said to me that he goes to the bank and he gets these $2 bills. And then when he sees somebody on this corner with a cup or holding their hands out, he gives them a $2 bill. I thought that's a cool idea because nobody's got $2 bills. People even say they're so rare, you never see them. No, they're not. Go to the bank, they have plenty of them. I shouldn't be telling you all my secrets. So now I have these $2 bills. Well, the other day, I gave a $2 bill to a homeless guy. He said, oh, wow, I'm going to keep this, man. I'm not going to spend it. I taught somebody who's homeless how to save money. Maybe he wouldn't spend it. I don't know. Okay, our goal for today is mimic what you see that you like. If you see somebody walking in front of you, you like the way they walk, walk like them. If they're walking with confidence, feel that confidence. Like the biker, feel the momentum of those pedals going. Dance like the best dancer in the room. Walk like the most confident person you see. I love you. I love you so much. I, you know, you say, you don't even know who I am. I know who you are. You know how I know who you are? Because you're watching me. That's how I know who you are. Have a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day in Chicago. Maybe you're watching this in the winter. You say, are you nuts, Larry? It's snowing. Well, today's a good day. Talk to you soon. Be well. Bye.